and we are live what's up guys and welcome back to another episode of mafia 2 definitive edition uh last episode uh, we learned that we're playing as Vito. Uh, we went overseas to um sicily fought in the war a little bit and then we're back in empire bay in new york and now we're trying to make two thousand dollars for our mom and sister pretty simple stuff you know where am i going Whoa! Damn, ice is slick. All right, go out the way we came in and get on the main highway going west. Don't go back through the city. Nice. Ooh, okay. Go right up here. Don't tell me what to do. So how's it feel to be back? Good. I feel a lot Sorry. better with some money in my pocket. Hey, That's true. what's the rush? Money don't buy you happiness, you know. Get the fuck out of here. I was just fucking with you. Don't worry about the money. This little job is just the beginning. Pretty soon you'll be rolling in it. So, Sand Island's still the same shithole it was when I left? No, no, the place actually ain't too bad now. Oh, shit. How the hell that happen? All the moolies flew south for the winter. Of course it's still a shithole, Vito. You've only been gone a couple of years. Gonna take a lot longer than that for that neighborhood to turn around. Them people multiply like rabbits. What are you gonna do? It's even worse than when we was kids. They even got some kind of gang there now. What's their fucking name? Uh, the Beamers, the Boomers, something like that. The I don't fucking know. Oh, wow, that's just fucking great. Hey, what are you worried about? They're animals. All they do is sell dope and kill each other. They ain't gonna bother a guy like you. And even if they do, that's why I gave you that pistol. Oh, by the way, you're carrying a gun now? What's the deal with that? Can't do business oh. without it these days. Especially in this fucking neighborhood. You, uh, really know how to inspire confidence, you know that? Pistol. Why don't we just tell him that our parents owe some money so we can find out who the hell Take we owe to? Take a left up here. Go smack him around a little bit. Making an offer he can't refuse. You know what I mean? That's how you do it. You know, you, you, you tell you know, you tell your boy, hey. Wow, I forgot how nice this neighborhood was. You know something? One of these days, I'm gonna buy a house here. Look at this guy. Ain't even back a day, and he's too good for his <laughs> old neighborhood. Shit. Hey, what are you breaking my balls for? I'm just window shopping. It'll be years before I could afford a place like this. <laughs> you got champagne tastes and beer pockets, my friend. Yeah, I've heard Don't that worry, though. Times. I'm gonna help you change that. I've heard that way too many times, man. That's oh, so we or like you'd hear the uh, you got uh, steak taste and bologna pockets or some shit. Like, man, I've heard that way. I've I've heard that saying way too many times. It's that cream-colored baby over there. Be careful. Do it quick and get the fuck out of there. Break a window if you have to and go. I'll wait for your back at Mike's. What if I run into problems? Then you deal with them. Look, consider this a test. If you fail, I hear they're hiring down at the factory. Right, just asking. Good luck, pal. I see you back at Mike's. Alright. Still the cream-colored Walter Coop. I know how. Damn, what you guys. What the fuck are you doing over there? Whoa, 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 hold the, hold the fuck up. Ah, shit. Chill. Ah. Mm. Bitch. Come on, coward. I'ma learn you, baby boy. Come here, bitch. Ah. Mm. Come here, bitch. Ah. I, I like, I love the combat system. Oh. Sit down. Sit down, bitch. What do y'all want? Hey! Hey, what you doing, motherfucker? Okay, there we go. Gotcha, dummy. Damn it. 
Come on. The Amy, Amy was fucking badass. But one for your mama. Wait, hey, hey, don't be saying nothing about me. Come on. Put your head out there, bitch. Hold. Oh, duh. Hold it. There we go. Oh, that was easy. Wait. Oh, okay. X. Easy. That's gonna be the only issue, is because when it tells me to press a button, I'm not gonna know what button to press. Y'all fuck off. I'm out this bitch. Here we go. How did he get here before I did? Hey, hey, mission accomplished. How'd it go? Yeah, piece of cake. Except for the fact that the car belonged to a bunch of moolies who immediately tried to kill me right after you left. Eh, uh, probably the bombers. Hunters their neighborhood. Guys like that, you don't have to worry about them. They just hang out on the street, talk shit, steal shit, and smoke dope. <sighs> Let's see what we got here. Mmm, nice. No stains. Clean. The lowlife get the money for this. Probably stole it himself. It's nice, though. How much did I say I'd give you for it again? Six hundred. <laughs> oh, I like you, buddy, Joe. Here's your four hundred bucks. Stop by again, okay? We can do some more business. Yeah, you bet, Mike. I see you, Mike. I'll stop by again real soon. All Me right, too. boys. I'll see you later. Here's your three hundred bananas. I'm taking my cut as the middleman. Next time, you're on your own. All right. Thanks, Joe. All right, let's go home. I'm exhausted. All right, get your ass in the car. Still wish I knew how to... I'm gonna have to look that up. How to, like, put this one off. Uh, speed cap on it. We should take the highway, Vito. Okay. All right, you pulled off that job without fucking it up. Nice going. Yeah, but I almost got my ass kicked. I didn't live through the war just to die in Sand Island. Hey, that's all part of the deal, pal. Take it or leave it. Besides, it ain't like you're qualified for anything else. Eh, I guess you're right. Don't worry about it. It's all gonna be a piece of cake. Forget about it. So, uh, what's the story with Bruski? Mike's a good guy to know. He's a little grouchy, but he's always got a scam going. He deals with stolen cars mostly. Spent some time inside a while back. I heard he used to stick up gas stations back in the day. You gonna make him pay the cleaning bill for your jacket? Nah, I'll let that one slide. I do a lot of business with the guy. Plus, he's got one hell of a temper. One time we was at the track and some mitt spilled a beer on his wind ticket. Mike beat the shit out of him till he went blind in one eye. For a lousy ten bucks. You believe that shit? Sounds like kind of a scumbag. Hey, you just got an out of hand to these people. That Mike's a pussycat compared to some- Hey, is there a safe place to park around here? I don't want to leave this thing out in the street. Yeah, that's why you're parking your car next to mine in the garage. Okay. The streets are full of criminals these days. Yeah, the neighborhood ain't what it used to be, huh? Come on, get your ass in the car. I just got a honk in front of the damn garage. <laughs> like, okay. Like, it seemed like the first one's a little bit more realistic. That one, I'll, I'll give credit. Is this your house? Can we go into your fucking house, bro? Oh. Cause you're home, bro. That's it. Nope. That's it. Lucas. Who's Lucas? The second. Okay, look here, dude. Take me to your home. Oh. 
There we go. If you're hungry, there's some food in the refrigerator. Of course. Oh, move, motherfucker. You're hungry, move. Vito. Take whatever you want from the fridge. Okay. What do you got? Oh, that's cool. I'm at the couch. The couch in the kitchen? Why would I sleep in the couch in the kitchen? He has a couch in the living room. Why don't you just... Oh, come on. Hey, yay. Enemy of the state. Answer the phone. Hello? Joe's pleasure, pal. It's Vito speaking. Vito, why didn't you come home last night? I was worried sick. Mama? I didn't know you had Joe's number. And whose phone is this? So have you spoken to Mr. Papalardo? Find yourself a job? Yeah, he told me to come by and see him today. Hopefully he's got some work for me. Okay, Vito. Good luck, mio bambino. All right, uh, bye, mama. Come on with Connor around. Where, where my son at, bruh? Hey, I like the game, but come on, man. Hey, turn that down in there. Hey, hey turn that down in there. If you don't turn that crap down, I'm gonna call the cops. Call the cops, I'll beat your ass, I swear. Yo, how the. What a dick. The cop ran right into me. No one will find me. Don't be. He ain't finding me, bitch. Can you just smacking? He's like, oh, close the door. It's windy. What do you want? Uh, yeah, I'm looking for a Mr. Papalotto. Oh, yeah? Why? My name is Vito Scaletta. My old man used to work for him, and I'm looking for a job, so I came here. Well, you're in the right spot, sonny boy. Federico Papayato at your service. You can call me Derek. I think I remember your dad. Good guy, but drank like a fish. What's he up to these days? He's dead. Oh, well, we all gotta go sometime. Right, Steve? Sure, Derek. So you need a job, huh? Well, you're in luck. We just got a new shipment to unload. Steve will show you around. Now scram, my steak's getting cold. Dick. Uh, follow me. Yeah. Okay. I think I remember this part from watching uh, Michael Frenchay's play. Uh, Frenchy's play. Was uh, I forgot what the the YouTube channel was, but they had him play Mafia 2 for a little bit. Reed Load this buses. pile of crates onto that truck. Okay. When you're done, you get ten bucks. Ten dollars. Something gets lost or broken, you get nothing. Start now and don't take all day. Ten dollars? Bruh, I'm gonna fuck you up. Ten that lousy dollars, man. Ain't this some shit? I got 300 just for stealing a car. Hey, don't break it. Oh yeah, this is gonna be a lot of fun. Who the fuck wants to move boxes around all goddamn day? 
The door is open. You leave when you haven't have had enough. Are you kidding me? Uh, you know what? I don't need this chicken shit money. So I'm guessing I'm not doing it. Okay. I guess not. I was trying to finish it. Hey, you done? Yeah, I'm done. And you can keep the ten bucks. When I said I needed a job, I didn't mean slave labor. Whatever. Get the fuck out of here, then. Don't show your face around here again. Yeah, don't worry. I can make a hundred times more working for Barbaro Incorporated. Wait, you said Barbaro? Joe Barbaro? Yeah, so That's what? Guy. Shit. Nobody who works with Joe would carry crates for ten bucks. What the hell are you doing? Come with me. Saying, saying a real, like, made guy's name, just throwing it out there, man, he would, man, he would disappear. As simple as that, though. Like, that's one thing about these games that I don't like is they don't really follow the rules of the streets. Like, just throwing out a, a made guy's na name like that, man, you've gotten your ass whooped. What now? Well, this one don't like manual labor. What the fuck? Said he works with Joe Barbaro. Bullshit. Who wanna load crates if he works with Joe? You'll have to explain this one to me, sonny boy. What's your story? Uh, well, my mother wanted me to come talk to you about an honest job, but I need some real money, so this ain't gonna cut it. <laughs> Them women, they're all the same. Right, Steve? Sure, Derek. She doesn't want you hanging around with Joe, right? <laughs> my mother was the same way. Look what become of me. Union boss. I got the whole fucking waterfront under my thumb. So how's Joe? Pretty good, I guess. How'd you meet up with him? Oh, we go way back to the old neighborhood. I just come back from overseas and he's putting me up until I can get back on my feet. Listen, uh, you gotta understand, a person in my position has gotta be careful. Certainly. So you won't mind if I give Joe a call, right? Nah, go ahead. Now, where'd I put his number? Hey, here it is. Whoop. Again, that. If the dude says he, he don't know you, you can ask the shot. He might not be home. I hope he is. That wouldn't be good. Hi, right, Joe. Hey, this is Derek. Listen, I got this guy here. Uh, what'd you say your name was? Vito. Vito. He's looking for a job. He says he's a friend of yours. A good friend. I just wanted to check with you first. Uh-huh. Sure. War hero and all that shit. All right, all right. Thanks, then. I'll talk to you later. Sorry, pal. I had to check you out. Joe says you just come back from Italy. You must be able to handle yourself. You want to make a little more money? I got just the thing. The guys here at the port are supposed to pay a monthly fee to the barber, but half of them never cough it up. I need someone to give them a little nudge. Ten bucks a man. What if they don't need a haircut? Well, then you'll have to convince them otherwise. I see. What if somebody makes a fuss? Then you kick the shit out of them. Well, let's say you teach them a lesson that doesn't require that they miss work. You got it? Which is why Steve ain't doing the job. Right, Steve? Right, boss. Collect at least 150 bucks, I give you 50. Just for walking around, taking it in the Sierra, meeting new people. Easy fucking money, eh? What do you say? Yeah, hey, it's better than lugging crates around. All right, then. Get going. Oh, I gotta go downstairs. Easy enough. From the dock workers? Hey, bitch. <clears throat> I'm here to collect the fee for the barber. I was just coming to pay. Actually, he's pretty good barber. Thanks. Appreciate your cooperation. Hey, pal. 
Derek needs you to pay the fee for the barber. Again? I don't even go to the damn barber. Here, you give it to the Robin son of a bitch. Next time, try to pay on time, okay? Thanks. Whoop your damn ass, you understand me? Lose your damn attitude. Hey, Derek needs you to pay the fee for the barber. Give you me money. got the wrong guy, pal. My wife cuts my hair. Yeah, that's sweet. But while you work here, you get a haircut when Derek says. Ugh. Okay, okay, you're not for it. Here's your fucking money. Yeah, glad you decided to reconsider. Let me guess, he's gonna be the one who gives me the hard time. Hey, pal. Derek needs you to pay the fee for the barber. Look, asshole. I'm not in the mood. Why don't you get out of my face before you get hurt? Ah, no can do, pal. Derek wants his money. Derek can kiss my ass. What's that fat fuck gonna do? Have me killed? Hey, yes, you said it, not me. Why don't you give it a try then, asshole? Easy. Come here, bitch. Come here, bitch. Come here, bitch. Come on, bitch. Swing. Oh shit. Easy. Damn. Anyone else not want to pay? Okay. Anybody else? Got a fucking problem with paying for the fucking barber? Can't see all them pay now. Take the cash back to Derek. That was easy ass money. All I do is go downstairs and whoop some ass. Yo, what is the next job? Here's the money, boss man. Good job. Here's your share. I watched you take care of Bill. You were good. Steve damn near got his ass kicked when he tried that. Right, Steve? Yeah, right, Derek. Here's a bonus for sorting him out. Thanks. The guy's been a real fucking pain. Now get out of here, kid. I gotta be getting back to business. And say hello to your mother for me. Tell her you got yourself a job as my new assistant. Yeah, will do. I'll see you later. Hey, Vito, okay. I almost forgot. Joe called. He wants you should meet him at Freddy's. We're going this way or that way? Okay. Hey, yay. Alright guys, before we go down to Freddy's and meet Joe, we're going to go ahead and end it here. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, subscribe, all that other good stuff. Make sure to tune in every single day at 12 o'clock. If you're watching this on Twitch, stay tuned because we're going to keep on going. And if you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to follow me on Twitch so you can watch me play these games live. And I will see you beautiful people in the next one. See you.